hollow verbs are so called because the middle root letter is either yod or vav. And so because the middle root letter is yod or vav, and these consonants sometimes uh, can be pushed away or even lose their consonantal character, then we call it hollow because of the nature. Now these are all found in the dictionary under their infinitive construct form, a little bit unusual rather than the perfect 3MS. And so here's some examples. Uh, here we have from kum to arise, we have kam, he arose. We can see that the middle root letter has dropped out so because it's hollow, leaving us just the pe and the lamed, or the first and the third root letters. In the imperfect, there we have the uh, vav stays in as a shurik, yakum, he will arise. However, it's apocopated in the vav consecutive imperfect form, and he arose. And we see similarly with some of the other verbs, like seem, uh, to put or to place, or bow, to, to come, or moot, to die. And we can see that the perfect form, these are hollow, the middle root letter drops out. In the imperfect form, the middle root letter uh, is there, and, and it, it stays, but it apocopates or drops out in the vav consecutive imperfect. So this takes a little getting used to, but it's especially important to memorize our vocabulary so that we can recognize this phenomenon when it happens. And in the common words, knowing the vocabulary solves most of our difficulties for parsing. It's worth thinking through the different stems, like nifal, for the hollow words, and in the perfect, no big surprises for a word like kun to establish. It was established. Uh, we can see the, the noon from the nifal, the stem, and uh, all is well. However, in the case of the imperfect, or in the case of the vav consecutive imperfect, just have to remember our normal idea that the noon assimilates. So in this case, the dagesh forte within the kaf shows us that um, it will be established, or and he established, in the case of the imperfect and vav consecutive imperfect. And we have here, not pl, but polel. And the reason it, uh, uh, it's put this way is because the lamed letter reproduces under certain circumstances in this stem. So it's not a PL, we call it a polel, again based off of the paradigm word pa'al and what would happen in that case. So uh, if we take the word kun again to establish in the polel, we'll notice that the perfect form reduplicates the lamed letter, the nun, so that we have konain, or in the imperfect, Yikonin, and in the Vav consecutive imperfect, Vayachonin. And we can see that it's the polel because of the expected schwa under the prefix pronoun. And finally, um, let's think about the hifio for a minute, and here we'll use the word kum to stand or arise. And in the perfect, we have the he from the stem. We also have the hirik yod. He kim. Uh, he caught. He was caught. He caused to arise. And in the imperfect, uh, we have a little bit more of a challenge here because we don't have our normal indicator of of talk under the prefix pronoun. We have a kamatz. But in the case of the imperfect, we do have the hirik yod which shows us Yaqim. This is in the Hifio. He will cause to arise. And again, another challenge in the Vav consecutive imperfect, Vayakim, 
because we do not have the talk that we would expect, and the middle root, uh, the middle letters are apocopated. So the hefiel can cause us some challenges, and we have to uh, think through this as we um, get into our reading and parsing. Let's compare a couple situations. Genesis thirty-eight eleven, ki amar pen yamut, gam hu keechav, vatelach temar, vateshav bet aviha. This verse offers a <clears throat> perhaps a self deliberation of Judah, and he reasons for. He said, lest he die, even he like his brothers, or also he like his brothers. And so Tamar, she went and she lived in the house of her father. The verb yamut. Uh, this comes from mem, vav, tav, and we have here a kal, imperfect, 3ms. And so we have, unless he will die. And so in this case, in the imperfect, the root... Uh, uh, the middle root letter, Vav, remains as a shurik. We'll compare this to Genesis 4, 8. Vayakam Kain el Hevel Achiv Vayacharagehu And the sub subject is Cain. And Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and he killed him. Vayakam comes from kof, vav, mem, to arise. And in this case, we have kal, vav, consecutive, imperfect, 3ms. So in both of these um, verbs, the middle root letter can be a vav normally, mut or kum. However, in the case of the imperfect, it remains in its full form, yamut, but in the vav consecutive imperfect, it apocopates, and we see the hollow nature of the root, and he arose. We'll have another comparison, beginning with Ezra 7.10. Ki Ezra Hechin Levavo Lidrosh et Torah Hashem ve Laasot. This verse offers a commentary explanation by the narrator. For Ezra established in his heart to pursue the Torah of the Lord and to do it. The verb Chehin comes from Kaf, Vav, Nun, and in this case we have a Hifiel. And we can see this both by the um, He of the stem, but also the Hiric Yod within this verb, Hechin. So this is a Hifiel perfect 3M. S, uh, and he caused to establish. And we'll compare this to Deuteronomy 31.23. Vayitzav et Yehoshua ata tavi et b'nei Yisrael el ha'aretz. Moses is the subject, and he commanded Joshua and he said, you will bring the sons of Israel to the land. The verb tavi comes from the root bait, 
Vav, Aleph, Bo, to come. In this case, we have the Hiphil stem and the imperfect form 2ms. And so we can see that this is in the Hiphil because of the Hiric Yod. So it's uh, in the Hiphil, it's not hollow in either of these uh, cases, but we can see that the Hiphil causes the Hiric Yod to keep a middle vowel. And the same is true whether it's an imperfect or, uh, excuse me, a perfect, or whether it's an imperfect for the Hiphil. I'll look at another form, uh, example of a different form of a hollow from Psalm 118.26. Baruch haba b'shem Hashem. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Ha, haba comes from Beit, Vav, Aleph, to come. In this case, we have a Kal, participle, masculine singular, and we can see that the participle is used as a noun because it has an article on the front, the one who comes. So the participle of the hollow verb also functions in the hollow way, leaving only the first and the third root letters. One final example of the hollow from Psalm 8. Ki erea yareach v'chochavim ashur ko nanta. When, so ki in the temporal sense of when I look or I see the moon and the stars, which you have established. Konanta comes from the root kaf, vav, nun, to establish, kun. And in this case, we have the polel form, uh, excuse me, the polel root, and it's in the perfect form, 2ms. And there's a paragogic hey, perhaps just stylistically for the poetry here. So in this case, the phenomenon of the hollow in the polel form, we have the third root letter, doubles, so we have konanta in the polel form. A little bit unusual, but something to get used to with the hollow verbs.